Today I'm going to show and tell you how the Celine blocks on the front arms of a Peugeot 308 Sieverts in a T9 body are changed, and if it's worth doing it yourself. Let's get started. Firstly, a pit or lift is recommended for this process, but it's not strictly necessary. You can do everything right from the ground. Take off the wheel and you'll see the following picture. The engine code and all the necessary car data will be displayed. On the screen, which might be useful for some, is the number of the front left lever. So we're interested in this Celine block at the back by expertly analyzing it by sight and sound. I determined that the Celine block is torn and needs to be replaced. You don't have to remove protection to unscrew this bolt, just a couple of bolts are enough. The front saline block is also secured with a single bolt so you won't have any troubles with it. Here I loosened the ball joint a bit. At first I tried to unscrew the sleeve on my fingers. Overall everything worked out, but to take out my finger, well, I just couldn't do it. It didn't work and I thought it'd be much simpler to unscrew these three bolts, to be honest. So it is, they unscrew easily and spontaneously. All shots where you see leaks and similar issues weren't coincidental, the blame is all on the WD-40. And yes, if you plan to climb somewhere and unscrew something, WD-40 not 5 minutes before but ahead of time, or at least a couple of hours, so that the lubricant has time to penetrate and start working. We digress, let's continue. So, we start to remove the lever. We'll begin with the ball joint. We unscrew 3 nuts with an 18 wrench. They come off easily, you'll have no issues with them. Then the rear bolt, as I've already mentioned, we unscrew two bolts from the guard to gain access to the bolt, then unscrew the head with an 18. The most important thing is to loosen it, then it'll go easy. As oiled, you probably won't have any problems with this either. Front bolt, again. Everything is elementary except for one thing, because the guard is not removed. You have to turn it from the wheel side. So the room for the ratchet to move is very small. If you have, there are no problems with nerves and you like to meditate a little, then everything is fine. Otherwise, if you need to remove the protection, you have access not from this side of the wheel from below, then that's it. It will go much faster. But as you have understood, I am not looking for easy ways. In general, everything unscrewed and the lever was in our hands. Here is another number embossed on the metal, on the lever. Perhaps it will be useful to someone. I checked the front selling block in a vise, and it turned out to be quite suitable. It's alive, which can't be said about the rear selling block, so we'll deal with it now. On the left is the new one, on the right is the old selling block. In order not to confuse how to install it later, I made notes on the lever. By the way, here is the article number of the new selling block from the Sidom company. Why Sidom? Yes, I just decided to give it a try. And some sellers, along with people from the internet, say that great quality for little money. So we'll see. By the way, choose Celine block carefully. All my search engines knock out two options by size. Conditionally, short and long. I have a long one, if anything. In order to extrude the silent block, we will need a 34 head. It is ideal for this purpose. Next, take a hydraulic tool, a vise or a hydraulic press. I don't have the press, but a good neighbor helped, and there was business for a couple of minutes. Before pressing out the old one, make notes on the new one, how deep to press on which side, there is nothing complicated. Just think first, and then press. If in the process of pressing the saline block went crooked, it's okay, press slowly if something is not. So press on the other side, do it slowly, you will be happy. I personally did the first once in a lifetime. Nothing difficult at all, at least if you want to save money but do not have the necessary equipment, you can remove the lever yourself and give it to replace the sales block's replacement. It is inexpensive, but it is relatively expensive to remove the lever in place, see for yourself. Finally, how do you put all this stuff back in place? Nothing complicated, we do it according to a simple algorithm. First we install the rear sealing block, bait it, then the front salt block and also bait it, only then put the ball joint in its place. With the first lever I suffered a little, about 30 minutes probably, but on the second side I did everything on the first try in just a few minutes. 
The sequence of attaching the lever, the final part, when you've torqued everything by hand. It's important that everything is tightened on a real car. The car must stand on wheels, but how do you do it without a pit? I solved this by getting a second jack and jacked up the wheel until it stood upright as if the car was simply standing on the ground. If you believe this is nonsense and you can't do that, then write in the comments. Personally, I think this is a perfectly viable option. We'll tighten all the bolts in this position with no load. If we first tighten everything and then lower the car, the car in a nutshell, the silent block will always be under load, even when the car is just parked in the parking lot. As a result, the silent block moves less, roughly speaking. Regarding the second silent block, the front one, honestly, there will be issues replacing it, specifically pressing it out. There will be problems and it is better to take it to a service station and not break your head over it, but the problem. The thing is, it's not exactly clear how to install it in a vice where... And then to press it out at all, you need to come up with some sort of stray. You can't stop it normally. By the way, as you can see, the manufacturer is Lemforder. I don't want to say anything bad. But in terms of casting quality and rubber composition, purely externally, by expert analysis method, Lemforda didn't impress me. I have questions about its authenticity. I have heard a lot and often that they are counterfeited. Be careful, I can certainly be wrong. The old salt block was original. A Christmas tree and a wild animal were poured onto it, something like that. Adding any more is unnecessary. That's all I knew and saw I showed and told. Wish everyone luck on the roads. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye, everyone.